Hey, hey, Esile. Hey. What's a person from Pewter City's favorite vegetable? I don't know. What is? Broccoli. <laughs> Did you like that? No. It took me a while to think of that joke. I couldn't really think of any other brock puns, to be honest with you. Not Hello. A Hello. It's Pokemon Infinite Fusion. I'm glad you're all enjoying Pokemon Infinite Fusion. Lots of people seem to uh, seem to be really into it. Well, we're working an episode ahead, so you guys have only seen the first episode as we're recording the third episode, and that'll be kind of kind of the theme going through. Uh, what did we leave off? Uh, we are going to merge Feldo with the cat. That's true, because we spent ages yesterday. How long did we spend looking for that bloody cat? Oh, God, it must have been like an hour. So we've got a spare Meowth, uh, which we're going to combine with little Feldo the rat. Oh. So we're going to swap out you. Can you rename the uh, bell sprout just to check? Oh, yeah, good point. Um, can we even do it? There was a name thing um, on one of the Pokemon. Click on them. One a different one. Uh. No? No. Oh, well. No? I think you're going crazy. I might be going crazy. I, I think you're going nuts. Well, move the monkey anyway. And we've also caught another monkey, um, so that we can oh, it's trade the it. Box. That's what the problem is. All right. So that we can trade it with, um, we'll drop you for a second. Sorry, Kay. So that we can, uh, uh. <laughs> I was trying to go over into the box. So that we can trade it for that Tyro that's down here. Because that's just a fun Pokemon to try and get, right? Yeah. Um, trade it for a Mankey. And, oh, Monkey Prime. It looks like a Mankey. But it's obviously two Mankeys yeah. crushed together. But they haven't bothered changing the sprites. It's still a Monkey. We should probably mention that loads of people will have requested names. I don't think we're going to be able to rename specific people after specific Pokemon. Um, we can do a few here and there. Uh, but, like, ten different people ask for rats. And weird stuff like that. And it's like, we don't... I don't think there's, like, any more rats in this game. Yeah, there's, like, a Raticate and a Rattata. And I think that's about it, right? So, uh, should we just drop Tarog for now? Let's store Tyson. Ty was that what it was called? Yeah. Um, and then we're going to withdraw. Withdraw. Uh, K. Yep. Because Kate's like really good for dealing with or, or capturing new Pokemon. Then we we're need gonna to fuse. Merge Feldo. Yeah, that's right. And then we'll get Belly back out, I suppose. So we, I've been told how the fusion works. Okay. In the comments. Of the we person. need to go buy a fuser before we can start. I think but we yeah. We got one from our rival. Oh, did we? Uh, bag, debugger, potion, antidote, Pokeball. You damn liar. I apologize. You, you can sell all the mushrooms now. Damn liar. Well, while you do that, I'm going to go get up that comment. Yeah, because we spent like a good hour looking for a Meowth. And in that time, the, the mushrooms actually regrow. So we got 21 poison mushrooms. Didn't really sell for that much, unfortunately. And then we got the one tiny mushroom too. Um, actually, that's about it, isn't it? Okay, fair enough. Okay, so the first Pokemon you select to be the head... Um, you get the HP special attack and special defense. And the second Pokemon, you get the attack, defense, and speed. So basically, you could merge two Pokemon that have got good specific stats of that kind. And oh, that's a good really point. Really good Pokemon. So you can merge like um, what like a, like an Alakazam and a Machamp and get really high attack and really high special attack. Yeah. That's cool. I like and that a lot. It'd be like so technically, I think the stats wise, the best way we could have done. Um, Padme would to be ha um, mime junior head. Right, gotcha. Oh well, we know f we know for the future now. That's all right. So we want to combine Feldo with Meowth. Yeah. Which way round should we do it then? Should we do Meowth head on a Feldo body or Feldo head on a Meowth body? <laughs> I do not know. Do you want me to look up there like what they're both good at? Because I actually don't really know what Meowth is. I think is. they're both. I think they're both physical. Yeah, so it won't really make much of a difference. We're going to make our, a normal Pokemon. Well, Meowth is super fucking fast, so it might be worth going for Meowth body. Meowth body. Uh, that's this one, then. I'll let you look it up. Um, I wanted to mention as well, someone uh, who did a load of uh, art for the game, too, like submitted a bunch of whoopers for it commented which is very very cool thank yeah. you for even enjoying things if we find a whooper we'll try and name it after you yeah no it was something like um we found out how many custom sprites it was like forty thousand sprites or thirty thousand sprites or something like, 30, like that 000. absolutely insane you know what we're gonna go for a uh, rat body rat body, rat body is body, that cat one head. rat body cat head okay fuse here we go I hope this is a custom sprite. You, you think it would be, right? Because it's Gen 1. Yeah. I think almost all the Gen 1s have pretty much custom sprite. I think, like, the, the earlier world, right? Pokemon in the Pokedex. Are <laughs> that is fucked up. <laughs> Feldo, I'm sorry. Meowtata. <laughs> oh, wow. If you look at Feldo on uh, Discord, he has changed his profile picture to him photoshopped. I'm into glad a Feldo. Yeah, I'm glad to, Feldo took that as a, as a joke. What do you think? 
Technician or run away? Technician or run away. That ensures a, a sure getaway from wild Pokemon, okay. Or powers up the Pokemon's weaker moves. I actually don't know... Oh, do you want speed? Oh, yeah, you jolly. Want jolly. For real. For sure, yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean... How's that the Pokemon's weaker moves? We could just not give it weak moves. Yeah. I feel like we should just go for Runaway. I feel like Runaway's good because... It's a shame we didn't get the, um, the one that if you go in... Like, if they've got a status ailment, they do more damage. Uh, that's a common one for Rattata. Oh, is have. it? Okay, that would have been yeah. cool. Yeah. Growl. I don't think we really want Growl. Thank you. Um, Feldo did not learn ground. We need to get Feldo payday as soon as possible then, huh? Yeah. Hopefully they can just learn that whenever they... Yeah, they can. Up. I think it's like level 16 or something like that, because I remember... So, Feldo, you're going to be... Because Feldo was worried he was going to get swapped out of the party, but we No, made Feldo, it, so... you could be, like, actually key. I remember in Generation 1, um, in original Generation 1, like, original Red Blue, you weren't able to... Should we put this one back in? Yeah, let's take Belly back. You weren't actually able to get... There, there wasn't an infinite amount of money. There was only so many trainers yeah. that you could fight and shit like that. Um, so the, one of the few ways to do it was catching a Meowth above the daycare center by um, Cerulean, wherever Misty's from, uh, and and doing that. Hello? Psst, do you know what I'm doing? Oh, no. Dogging. Uh, yes, you're dogging, sir. That's right. It's hard work. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we walked into that one a bit, didn't we? Brilliant. Good work. Oh, Pewter looks quite different. So this should be the museum. Okay, there's the museum. Oh, it does look different. Right. Yeah. Obviously, you got one of the DNA splices there. That's fun. you got a building here. Martin Hotel. Whatever that does for us. Down here is the way to um, Cerulean. But normally, there's a person yeah, there that will stop you. you. I guess that they're allowing you to go other places in this game. That's fun. Okay, so no no kind of hard stops. Should we have a look in some of these other buildings? Welcome to Pewter City Hotel. It's 50 for a room. Oh. I, I mean, no, but thank you. Weird. We should probably mess should around probably with that. talk to the guy, because he like the people actually might have good stuff in this game. Yeah, yet. that's true. We don't know. They seem like they've actually given them good mechanics. Most major cities in Kansas have hotels like this one. They're great for finding people to help. To help or simply to rest and make time pass faster. What do you think that means? People who have lost things often come to hotels to seek help from traveling Pokemon trainers. They always hang out on the top floor of hotels to give rewards for helping them. Oh, oh, like quests? I'm so glad that I told you to do this. Hello, you must be new here. In many cities, you'll find hotels just like this one. Local residents gather here when they seek the help of traveling Pokemon trainers. who usually hand out great rewards to trainers who help them, so you don't want to miss out. Use this journal to keep track of the quest. This is immediately, again, the best I'm game so ever. I'm so glad I told you that you needed to talk to people. As for me, I'll give you rewards for helping a certain number of people. Oh, so it's like Oaks AIDS. Yeah. Oh, current stats couldn't my intel. Zero requests in progress. This is amazing. Help this is already... Person. Okay, let's go. Mate, why don't Game Freak just do this? Why don't they just remake do the 2D games and then fill them with cool mechanics like this? Hi, you're a Pokemon trainer. I want to make some wild mushroom shoe, but I'm afraid to go into Viridian Forest. Oh. Oh, no. Would you mind helping me? I'll give you something. In... Yeah, yeah, sure. We'll go find some mushrooms. I need three tiny mushrooms. I'm counting on you. Oh, this is so cool. You want, uh, okay, you want us to catch a bug, I presume? A fully evolved bug type Pokemon. Okay, so we need to we find We could do a that bug. really easy. Fine. Oh, um, so we've got that Meowth Kakuna combo. Yeah. It evolves at level 10. Oh, did you say no to them? Uh, yeah, because they're asking if I've got one to show them, uh, which we I don't. See. I lost my revive while sitting on a bench earlier. Now I'm worried sick. I'm going to be able to defeat Brock without Will you help me find it? Revive on a bench. Okay, it's got to be somewhere in Pewter City. So we've got to check all the benches in Pewter City. Okay. This is a this really, is really cool, cool idea. I'm I, actually very impressed. A lot of people have been commenting saying they've started playing this because of yeah, I'm so seeing glad. our first video. Honestly, I wonder how many of them have actually missed this because they because they just assume it's like a normal Pokemon game where talking to people doesn't actually help you. <laughs> well, sometimes it does. In oh, oh, did you check out? Ah, oh, I see. Yeah, it's um, like the OG game. Right, so let's check all of the benches then. I suppose we well, got to check like. Okay, that should probably do it. You think? Uh, no way up there. Do you want to try this building just to see what's in there? Just have a look. Yeah. Man. Actually, encouraging exploration. That's crazy. What? Team Rocket is at Mount Moon. Huh, I'm on the phone. Scram. Sorry. Yeah, get fucked. When Jigglypuff sings Pokemon Get Drowsy, I guess it works on humans too. Ariana Grande has that effect on me. She I must be a Jigglypuff. <laughs> you don't like Ariana Grande. That's what I'm liar. saying. Yeah, that's why I'm saying she sends me to sleep, you fool. She's so good at singing, though. 
Well, you know, that's not your opinion, man. She is very good. Don't be silly. Hello? She oh. She's not to your taste, but she's still good. A shady old man got me to buy this weird fish. It's totally we can cost 500. What a scam. That's the um, guy outside the Mount Moon Pokemon Center. I thought it was inside. I thought it was... Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry, yeah. He's inside. Yeah, that's yeah. what I meant. I meant the Pokemon Center outside Mount Moon. Uh... Good things can happen if you raise Pokemon diligently, even the weak ones. Whoa. That's a hint. Evolve Magikarp is basically the hint there. Hello. When you're having a rematch with the trainer, you're allowed to forfeit the match at any given time. Oh. oh. That's good to know. Oh, that's an interesting mechanic, too. Yay, hey, there it is. We cool. Found it. I suppose we could just keep that, right? I wonder who this I, could be. I imagine to. Oh, they no. won't let us use it. It went into the key items pocket. Yeah. What's this area here, then? So that that's goes to the, the back of the museum. That's the museum that's like in the OG game. Yeah, that's where you get um, Aerodactyl, right? That's where you get the old Amber, mm. if I remember correctly. That's such a cool idea, adding a hotel mechanic where you can go and help people. That's really fun. I like the side quests because they don't really give you much of that in the proper games. There's no reason to really go back to cities after you've already done it, right? TM21. Oh, frustration. frustration. Wow. Okay. Thank you so much for my lost revival. This side's some cool. Okay. Well, we could do always do the quest. I'm happy to do that. Yeah, let's go back to Viridian. So the reason... One of the reasons I put it on easy, um, which I feel like I probably should have, you know, explained a little bit better, um, is so that we can have, like, a rotating party going on, right? Mm. And I mentioned this to you, obviously, between episodes, but um, I thought when we go to Johto... Oh, is that the Poké Flute? There is Johto post-game. Uh, I bought the special flute from my travel. Show them this is bad soon. It's yours. Oh, cool. Okay. Um, there is a Johto post-game. I was thinking when we go to Johto, we completely swap out our party. Like, start fresh, basically. I right. think that'd be a lot of fun. Who are we going to have the start of our party, then? Um, I mean, what Belly will probably sweep. And to be fair, Monkey Prime would sweep. Because we got low kick, right? And they're all made of bloody rocks. Oh, it depends, because we're under-leveled with Monkey Prime. We are, but you got to have faith in Monkey Prime, my friend. I have faith in Monkey Prime. Okay. You're challenged by last Miriam. Georan. Oh, it's Whoa. a Geodude and a that, Nidoran, do, right? You gotta do, do quad to that, right? Um, it's poison. Oh, did po we get for poison? Poison rock. Oh, uh, not rock. Um, poison. should we just try a karate chop? Yeah. I feel like this monkey prime might be like an older sprite. Oh, it's got poison point. Shit. Okay. Rock polish. Okay, it didn't fine. do extra damage because it's poison. Yeah. I think we'll probably just go with the leg sweep then. Oh, God, Monkey Prime. Does it take the heaviness from the Geodude, do you think? I imagine it's going to be quite heavy because it's part Geodude. Oh, shit. All right, I guess we'll swap out then. Oh, Monkey Prime. Oh, what should we go for then? Um, go through our belly. Belly would just, like, annihilate him. Same with Padme. Uh, belly's... Uh, poison's not a weak to grass type, is it? I don't think it is. Poison's not weak to grass type. What do you mean? I thought that poison was strong against grass. Oh. Uh, I, honestly, I do not it remember. It might be bug that I'm thinking of. Yeah, I think it might be bug as well. Because bug is super effective against grass. Yes, it is. Well, we'll do a vine whip. Bug spot. They're really just using, like, random shit. It does seem that way. Oh. Hey, there you go. Good job, Belly. So it wasn't super effective, but Belly wasn't affected by... Um, wasn't affected by that. What are we going to merge Belly with? Did we just... Oh, Sleep Powder's high tier. Yeah, Sleep Powder's very good. Pime wants to learn double slap. Oh, absolutely. absolutely. Uh, should we get rid of... That's a hard one, though. You can't get rid of... Water gun. I think we get rid of barrier. Okay. Let's just throw in, like, a normal move, because that way we've got most fallback, right? Last Miriam, get roasted. Yeah, who do we want to... Because uh, we've got to remember that it's going to be Weeping Bell with the big mouth. Shall I run back to the Pokemon Center rather than using the antidote? Yeah. All right. Um, <laughs> I was gonna see if you're gonna gonna make me go back. We could weeping bell with a we big. We could mix mouth. it with Geodude. Geodude, or like or like a golem. Yeah. Or you could do it with like Gyarados and have it be the big mouth. Oh, the biggest mouth ever. The biggest mouth ever. But water grass. I'm just thinking we've already got a water type, and we've already got a grass type. I mean, you could have flying. Oh, that's a good point. How does that work when you mix a dual type Pokemon together like a Gyarados? Well, we got uh, when we did to, to do dual. <laughs> right. We did when we did um, Padme. We got the choice between the Fairy version or the Psychic version. That's true. So if we do Grass Flying, it's that would be quite good, I think. It really depends. I'd like to do that. I think we go for Gyarados because then it's got such an enormous mouth. It's got a very big <laughs> mouth. <laughs> but it also could end up being poison. It could have poison as well. Instead. That's true. Poison flying. That's a, that sounds like a fun combo. 
get low kicked. None of these are working, Sam. What do you mean? It doesn't matter. It, it is working. It's killing them. I'm trying to level up Monkey Prime a little bit. Monkey Prime's not getting as much uh, love as it Monkey needs. Monkey Prime is like, was level 2 and mixed with another one. Yeah, that's the problem. We did nerf Monkey Prime quite a lot. But this is this is going to bring them back up. Go. We've got boosted XP. Why? And maybe because you got the, doubled it together. Oh, what? Because it's two monkeys together? Yeah, maybe. Oh, that's a fun idea. Okay. Um, sand Dude. That's a that Sand Slash Geodude, right? <laughs> <That's amazing. laughs> um, Crowds Chop. It's got a high chance of crit Crowds Chop, right? I mean... It's super effective either way. <laughs> That's so good. I love that thing so much. <laughs> it looks like a little Gizka from uh, Knights of the Old Republic. Oh my God, my, for my KOTOR fans out there. Wow. Now we've got a... Why don't you try talking to the gym people? See if they do, oh, see if they do anything. They're certainly hotter than me, but can you be hotter than Brock? Nobody's hotter than Brock. You're good, but Brock is a lot tougher than I am. You got to be careful. Okay, so we, we just I think they're kind of generic. Brock, I'm Brock, Pewter's gym leader. I believe in rock hard defense and determination. That's why my Pokemon are all rock type. If you still want to challenge me? Fine then. In gym battles, you're allowed to use as many Pokemon as the gym leader. Oh! Oh, that's fucking cool. Since this is your first gym match, I'll be using two Pokemon. Please choose the Pokemon you to use for our battle. Honestly, right. if we want to win, we go Padme Belly. Padme Belly. Do we want to do that? Yeah. Oh, I really want Monkey Prime to get some, get some real stuff. We going don't want to hurt him though. That is so cool though. They That's just, a fantastic this mechanic. This is a really cool mechanic. Oh my god! Why is this game better than everything? That... <laughs> <laughs> this is not all right. Why is this so much not better? Right, is it? Um, get war again. Well. Yeah, Padme. Well, I feel like this is going to be a bit of a, a bit of a thwomp. Dignix. Whoa. Whoa! There's a Diglett Onyx. Yeah. Man, I wonder what that looks like. Should we switch over to Belly? It, Belly's got more XP, though. Oh. Uh, you want to leave just Padme out for the XP, then? Fine. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> look at my guy. Oh, my God. Look at him. Oh, wow. Sadly, this is going to be... Rock Team's going to slow us down. Yeah, but this is going to hit like a truck. It's already faster than us, apparently. That's insane. It, I guess because Diglett's quite quick, right? Yeah, he's a little mole fella. Boom, look at that. You defeated Jim Lena Brock. I took you for granted. <laughs> you did take me for granted. 1,200 for winning, though, is quite nice. Oh, that's so cool. And there's the boulder badge right there. Oh, that's that's a great mechanic. It seems as if the difficulty, the whole difficulty of this game has been raised anyway. Yeah. Even without playing on hard mode. And he's given us Rock Tomb. Which we can't do anything with yet, of course. Yeah, not yet. It's a rock type move that will slow the opponent down. There are all kinds of trainers in the Lord who appear to be very gifted as a Pokemon trainer. Go to the gym in Cerulean and test your abilities. We've obtained one premium wonder trade oh. ticket. So I guess we just trade it for a random Pokemon, right? That's cool. Oh! Oh, they told us that we were cool. Oh, is that what they No they, they they just they just tell us nice things now. Oh, thank you. Thank you. What does the man at the door say now? Hello, fella. Hi, I can tell you have what it takes to become a Pokemon champ. Why don't you check the thingy, see if the, the, your name and uh, your rival's name are on the Oh, thing. yeah, yeah, okay. You used to always really... It's here, right? I don't think it shows it up. That's a shame. When I was a kid, it used to really annoy me when my rival's name was ahead of mine. Because it's like, I went here as quick as I possibly could, game. Wow, you didn't go quick enough. Ah, it's bullshit, man. Bullshit. They are cash cows already. already uh, go to that it. bench by the museum. Bench by the museum? What for? Talk to the guy. Oh, right, to get the flute, right. Hmm, a Pokemon trainer. I bought this back this special flute from my travel. Show me the city's badge and it's yours. There it is, the city's badge. Here you go as promised. Black, Black flute. flute. Um, that is that not the flute you get from... Makes Pokemon less likely to appear. Play it in a cave and forest. Oh, cool. Right, so it's like a reusable repel, right? Yeah. And, and this is what you used to get from the glass blower in uh, Generation 3. You remember you used to walk around with a sack and collect ashes? Nope. Do you not remember that? I didn't do that. I don't think I ever did that. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's just, uh, I don't know if it's reusable. I don't remember. I'm pretty sure it is. It must be. That's a funny can... looking flute, isn't it? I mean, that's a, that's it a does look like a bong. I feel like Dale Cashcow would be into that flute, <laughs> for sure. Let's have a quick peek into the museum then. Hello. I'm going to the museum. The entry is free. Oh. Oh, yeah. You used to charge you 200 to come to this stupid fucking Oh, but museum. here's the entrance. Oh, no. The entrance must take into the back of here then. Cool. It's a complex looking machine. Better not touch it. Hello, how are you doing? We're well, not just a museum. We also do lots of research on Pokemon fossils. We have a machine that can revive prehistoric Pokemon from a fossil, but it isn't operational. Trying our best to get it back to work in state as soon as possible. I thought the um, fossil resurrection was in the lab in Cinnabar. That's um, 
that's like first game. It was a cool move. It can cause all kinds of fun. Oh, it's called Metronome. Oh. We can't touch you. No one can have it. Can't oh, you. that's so good. All right, fair enough. What's this thing here? Um. Oh, right. So that you can probably so you can sort out fossil Pokemon, right? That you resurrect. Yeah. That's clever. A dome fossil is displayed. It's the fossil of the extinct Pokemon Kabuto. It lived in the Kanto region 300 million years ago. It used eyes in the back to watch out for predators while hiding on the seafloor, like me on a bus. Hello! The fossils displayed here were Pokemon that lived hundreds of millions of years ago. Really puts things into perspective. Not really. Not That's really. a long time. Whoa! Whoa! Dragonite! Due to their internal structure, the DNA of rock type Pokemon remain completely preserved even after millions of years of fossilization. Because of this, these Pokemon can be genetically cloned into living creatures, a feat that would be impossible to achieve without this prehistoric Pokemon of other types. Wow. And what do you do? You've got to go to something, right? Hello, trainer. I'll teach Mudslap to one of your Pokemon if you can answer a quiz about Pokemon fossils. What do you think? Sure. Do we have someone to teach to? I don't think so. Well, let's come back later. Come oh, back we already beat him. Yeah, a bit late for that fella. Are you going to talk to other people? Do you want me to talk to everybody? We will be here for the rest of time. Hello. Different fossils. Uh, Omanite and Kabuto both lived in Kanto a long time ago, but they lived millions of years apart. I do a lot Cretaceous of... Cretaceous and Triassic, you see. <laughs> we played Trivial Pursuit the we other did. day with Paul uh, and Tom, and I destroyed you all on um, those periods of history because I... Uh, <laughs> destroyed you all. I mean, I just really Tri like... That Trivial about... Pursuit game is bullshit, though, because really the like second round... About, like, that period of history, though. Just equalizes everybody out. I was so angry. Mm. Alright, do you want to go to Viridian then and try and get these mushrooms? Oh, you want to you do the quest? Sure. Do you want to do this wonder trade ticket? I mean, sure, why not? We might as well give it a go, right? Who are we uh, going to trade, though? I presume... Oh, right, we have to throw someone in, don't we? Well, sorry, Feldo, your time has come. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> let's have a look. Um, organize, and let's throw out the... What, a Weedle? Boring old Weedle? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Sure. We do need to fully evolve a book Pokemon, don't forget. We do, but we've also got a Caterpie in there. I mean, we could just catch a Kakuna or a Metapod, and then... I do think... Why, why do we get rid of the Caterpie? Because Caterpie's stupid, and, like, we, Weedle becomes Beedrill. We could just catch a Kakuna. Um, oh! Oh! Well, I hope he doesn't... I hope he doesn't charge me immediately because I pressed that by accident. I wonder if you could... Oh, Weedle is El Camano. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm not getting rid of you. Um, I wonder if he could teach us Payday in advance. Mm. He also said come back with a heart scale. Don't know if he really meant that. Um, okay, so let's throw out a Caterpie instead. But so that's Bradley. Oh, Sam, we, got, we named... could get rid of Honeybee. Oh, that's a good idea. Money be, because we've already got... Yeah, no, let's, got let's bin you. A money boy. I don't want to get rid of someone that we've named after. Someone in the comments. They <laughs> we, might be quite upset. We just money be, so we might as well get rid of it. Hello. More badges to get, the more wonder trades you're allowed to make. Oh, interesting. Okay, fair enough. Hello. I'm the update man. Is there anything I can help you with? Um, we're all good. Thank you. Oh, that's interesting. You have one premium wonder trade ticket. Would you like to purchase more? No. Oh. Oh, so you can buy them and one trade again. I see you've obtained a wonder trade ticket. It allows you to trade a Pokemon with a random trainer from around the world. With premium tickets, the Pokemon you get have a more rare and guaranteed to have a custom sprite. Oh. You can get more premium tickets by defeating gym leaders. You can also purchase standard tickets from my colleague. Would you like to make a wonder trade? Oh, yeah. This is really cool. Let's do it. Right. Money bee. Goodbye, Money B. Trade Money B away. Oh, goodbye. Whoa. What if we get something like nuts, though? Alice sends Lucy. Lucy. Who are we getting? Lucy. <laughs> Odd is that oddish oh oddish lady bar yeah oh god that's fucking hideous it's not even a good pokemon lucy you can have that shit back <laughs> we yeah. could wonder trade again do you want to keep wonder trading it because no because we've only got one ticket yeah but it's for premium she said that there's normal you gotta trade. buy standard tickets do you have to buy standard tickets yeah she said you can buy standard tickets from my colleague premium you get from defeating the gym leader well, we'll, we'll swap, swap for Alice over or whatever it's called. We'll just keep one trading up. One. You yeah. know, it's like the guys on YouTube who are like, oh, I've got a pen. Will you trade it for, you know, something slightly more expensive? And then they trade up to a sports car. He said, it's all bullshit. Yeah. Should we go and get some mushrooms? Mush time, mush time. Why do we get cut? I don't remember. Oh, their bags are going over the wall. That's crazy. Hello. Um, who's leading the team? I, look, I've got a... I've got to level up Monkey Prime. We need to level up Feldo. 
Oh, yeah, okay, fine. We'll level up Feldo. Um, we've got to uh, keep an eye out for, like, a Kakuna or a um, Metapod. And we'll see if we can just level that up fast. Because he's level 10 for a, a fully evolved <laughs> Oh, that's fucking rabid. <laughs> that thing needs shooting. <laughs> messed up. Oh, oh done poison, Feldo. No. Oh, okay. We're all good. We're all good. Feldo's having a good time. Look at how excited he is. He's, he's like that freaky dog on TikTok. <laughs> you hate that dog. He scares me. Look this? at that ladybug. Hello, ladybug. Hello, You're on the wrong side of Feldo, my friend. If these quests take a while in the future, we could always just pause the episode. And yeah, that's true. Do some quests like in the background. That'd be good. That'd be good to do before we leave the city. Make sure we've got all the quests done, maybe. Yeah. Fake out's pretty good, right? Uh, yeah, fake out is pretty good. Should we get rid of um? Quick attack. Quick attack's pretty great. Tail whip. Yeah, sure. Nobody wants tail whip. Let's be honest. You you want to play like children, so we'll do the child moves. If it doesn't do damage, I'm not interested. Matthew oh. wants to learn poison sting. Matthew Prime. You get know, rid of Leah. Matthew does need poison sting, obviously. Get rid of Leah. Obviously, get rid of it. Obviously. In the bin with you. If you don't do damage, we're not interested. What do we need? We need loads of tiny. Was it four Two tiny mushrooms? Three tiny mushrooms, sure. Oh, Metapod, level five. Do you want a Metapod? I mean, we've only got a level of five levels. Is it ten that they evolve? Yeah. All right, let's get a Metapod then. Should we just. Uh, nah, because they never get caught on one. Give board. it a bite. Give it a quick yeah. attack. Quick attack it, fuck it. I should have faked it out in case it did harden. Yeah, well, never mind. It's all right. We're good. Get in the ball. We need a butter free. We should have got K out and made it sleep. Sleeping metapod. Easy. Easiest game I've ever played in my whole life. Why don't we go for a... Because like, if we're going to go for the Weedle, yeah. who are we going to mix it with? Who do we want to be and be? Oh, we already decided on that, right? Be something else. I don't remember. We, d we decided that B plus something else was really cool. Do you not remember? I don't remember. Uh, I think there's a Pokemon we've got right now. We could do B... Hoot <laughs> Hoot. That would be weird. Okay. That would be very strange. Hoot Hoot. Um, B plus something. There's, like, there's like... Like a B plus Caesar. B Ooh. plus Crobat. That would be cool. Crobat plus anything is cool, let's be honest. Yeah. We've got a couple of big up little mushrooms. Do you want to skip over the mushroom journey? Yeah, let's skip over Let's skip over the mushroom journey. See you in a bit, everyone. Well, it took us actually 24 hours, but we got the three mushrooms. So it turns out you can, uh, if you pay for the room in the hotel, you can sleep and pass time. Yeah. And then certain world events like the mushrooms regrowing will, will happen faster, which is really, really cool. So in theory, there you go. We've handed over the mushrooms. I was talking about gratitude. I want you to have this. Balm mushroom. A balm mushroom. Is that the one? It's a held item, right? The balm mushroom. Uh, let's have a quick look. Um, balm mushroom. Oh, it's a maniac. A maniac will buy it for a high price. We have to find a maniac. Then. Wow. Okay, so the only one we've got to do now then is show a fully evolved bug type to the weird guy in the middle. Yeah. So for that one, um, we did have Metapod. We, we caught a Metapod in the forest. We were just training that up in the... Uh, while we were looking for the bloody mushrooms. We got that up to level six. So four more levels. We thought we might as well go this way. Oh, who's this? It's uh, one of the lab assistants. It's me, Professor Oak's assistant. I was doing some field work around here and I came across something incredible. You've really got to see this. What do you think it is? Seems like there's an outbreak of wild Pokemon oh. with hidden abilities on this route. Oh, I saw one of them in this very patch of grass. You can tell when a route has a hidden ability outbreak, by the way, wild Pokemon sparkle in battles. It's a very rare event. We're lucky to be witnessing so close to home. Just about to last for a very long time, so you should try to catch one of these rare Pokemon while you still have the chance. Headed to Cerulean for some field work, so we better get going. It's right on the other side of Mount Moon. Maybe I'll catch you there. Good luck with your Pokemon League challenge. Wow, another cool rare event, courtesy of a fan game. This is cool. Yeah. Who do? Are they sparkling? I don't think they're sparkling. No sparkle here. Well, we might as well bite them to death. Yeah, we've just got to level up, right? Oh, why would you do this to poor Feldo? Poor sweet precious Feldo. Oh. <laughs> I keep forgetting what the buttons are for the everything. What do you want to go for, Padme? Right. Yeah, Padme, I guess. We'll do a little grinding on the route, and then I suppose if we find one of the... One of the special boys. One of the fancy fellas, we'll try and try and grab it up. Uh, let's hit you with the old, hit with the old water gun. Ooh, great work. Okay. Yay. Should we come back when we find a sparkly fella? Yeah. So we didn't get a sparkly Pokemon. 
after fighting half a dozen Spiro. What we did see earlier was that, um, actually, we'll have to sell some things, won't we? Sell, like, the poison mushrooms. Yeah. Oh, I don't think we'll have enough money. Was it 300? It was 300. Nice. Okay, so we're good. Um, we noticed that the Mart sells a DNA reverser. Yeah. A splicer that reverses the DNA of the fused Pokemon to create the inverse fusion. And you said, why don't we use it on Padme? Yeah. Because then we'll get the body of a Blastoise, but the head of a Mr. Mime. Hang on, are we sure we want that? Yeah. <laughs> that sounds fucking awful. Um, sure. Okay, so we want to throw in uh, DNA, DNA reverser. reverser on Padme? On Padme. Should Padme be reversed? Yes. Yes. Oh, God. I hope that it doesn't um, change the nature and stuff we chose. I just want them to be swapped. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. But what I was thinking Christ. is that now it's not a Squirt Junior. It might be Mr. Squirt. Oh, my God. When you're it, right. When it goes up. Right. Check the summary. So the summary is Psychic Water. Yeah. There you go. Okay. So. You wanted that, right? It became um, naive. It's naive. Is that good? Bad? Um, and it's still got the same nature. So still got soundproof. Fine. But yeah, I thought that it'd be better because the defense of Blastoise is really Actually, high. Actually, it's defense is good and it's special and attack. And it's special attack now. is really high because it's a Mr. Mime. So yeah, it swapped it over. I just thought it would be, would be better. You know what? I kind of agree. Mr. What would it be when it's fully rolled? Mr. Toys? It might be Mr. Squirt or Mr. If it's Toys. Mr. Blast. Mr. Blast. I'd be very happy with Mr. Blast, to be honest. Oh my god. That would I be hope amazing. It's Mr. Blast. Um, let's keep rolling with Monkey Prime for a while. Should we go fight some trainers then? Yeah. Because we're just trying to level up this Metapod to finish off the last quest of the pewter. And I, and I said this um, when we were kind of looking for mushrooms in the forest that next time we get to a city, we'll go to the hotel first just to get an idea of what quests there are. Yeah. Because if we'd have known that there were, we'd, we weren't supposed to. Oh, oh god. Oh my god. That pig tartar is horrible. <laughs> If we weren't to <laughs> <laughs> If we didn't know not to have sold uh, the... Uh, each up the Meowdle, I guess? Yeah, I think so. And then confusion on the Pid Tata. Oh! Ooh, don't you, got faked don't you out. do it's it. Got a flinch. Oh, I didn't no, we're all good. We're all good. Oh, oh nice. Good hit from... Oh, no, Monkey Prime did flinch. You idiot. Fuck. But we killed the Pid Tata. It's all fine. Banging. Oh, Monkey Prime's level 11. I can't wait for Monkey Prime to evolve. Padme might evolve... Oh my Next god. Next level. What if Padme, like, what, what is it going to look like? Do we want Mimic? The user copies the move used by the last nah. flow. I think it's too unpredictable, isn't it? Padme did not It'd learn Mimic. It'd be very Mimic. good situationally, but, like, we're, we're, not, we're not trying hard enough for that. No, we're not. Done. Yeah, Padme. Easy fight. Padme may be a goddamn powerhouse. If we could look get her. Mr. Blast, I'd be so happy with that. Metapod's level 8. Oh. Sweet. We're getting there. We've done no time. Right. Yeah, get out get of our way. To these two. Hello, you beat me. Hey, that was a fun battle. Do you want to have another one? Okay, so we can fight her again. We could. Um, and what do you want? The comfy feeling will never return. Hey, do you want to have another battle? <laughs> sure. Okay, so we're battling him again. Yeah, why not? And, and do they give money when we... Will we fight him again? Maybe. I love the fact that you can also run away from these fights, too. You're going against a flying Pokemon. Monkey yeah, I'll be honest. That was a pretty poor choice, but I, I have faith in Monkey Prime. Oh, no. Uh-oh. What's it going to do? Flinter us? Oh, it's not very effective. I wonder if it doesn't have Peck. Because it's got, like, Rattata's moveset. Maybe. Whoa! Monkey Prime's popping off! Oh, look at him go! My brother! Good job, Monkey Prime! Oh, what a guy! You had no faith in little Monkey Prime. Oh, Pursuit's pretty good, right? Pursuit's good. I yeah. don't think it'll be... It's good in, like, it matches with real people. Yeah, I was going to say the AI probably won't. Well, Man, what will we get rid of? We can't get rid of any of these for Pursuit. You can get rid of Fury Swipes. Yeah. Power 18, if it hits five times, that's quite a lot of damage. But it's also 80% accuracy, and also it doesn't always go that That's true. All right, go on then. Pies Pokemon awaiting. Cloudo grew to level 11. Very good. Matthew's nice. level 14. Do we get money for that? I, I didn't check. That was the one thing I wanted to find out, and then didn't bloody wait and see. <laughs> let's, let's try again. Right. You can die. We're getting revenge on this Meowdle. Monkey Prime. Hello, little boy. Do what you've got to do. The karate chop it. Karate chop it. Oh! Oh, it's gonna fucking flinch you again. No. Oh god. Go! Oh, it failed! Get karate chops. What do you think? Faith? Go on. Have faith. My boy. My boy cannot be stopped. Go on, Monkey Prime! God, the XP is so good, isn't it? Metapod's level 9. We're almost done. We're almost there. We're almost there. Oh no. You don't get money for it. Oh, well, that's good to know. Well, it gives you XP, but not money. XP, but not money. Should we swap out to Feldo then? Yeah. 
getting some levels. And then try and get this Metapod very quickly up to level 10. We'll and just then... fight these 12 for a little while. Yeah. <laughs> sure. It's done. Here we go, Metapod. You defeated the youngster Ben. Amazing. Nope, didn't return. And boom. Yes. Metapod is evolving. There we go. And now we can complete the final quest for Pewter. And then we move on to Cerulean. Yeah. This is our first evolution. Uh, no. I don't think. What the hell else have we evolved? This absolutely is our first evolution. Oh my god, it is. The other one we just, um, we just combined, didn't we? Yeah, you're not wrong. Sweet. Okay. Well, here we go then. First quest complete. We'll try and be quite diligent about these, especially if the uh, fella has some gifts for us. We've got all of the first ones done then. Uh, it's this guy in the middle, right? Yeah. Hello. Uh, could you please show me a fully evolved bug Pokemon? Absolutely I can, my friend. Here we are, one Butterfree. Whoa, it's so big. It's like the ultimate bug Pokemon. Here, I want to have you land on the side of the road. <laughs> a Pineco. What's a Pineco? Isn't it not a Pokemon? Oh my god, it is a Pineco. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it rubs into a Foresteress, right? They're really good. Yeah. Oh, okay. What are we going to call you? Oh my god. Right, I'm going to have to get a fucking person to name. Oh, I, I genuinely thought it was like an item. I have to get on my list. I've written a list. But no, this guy just gave us a straight up Pokemon. That's really strange. All right, so. All right, here we go. It. We have. Mm -hmm. oh, fuck. Right, that Bart guy. We don't have any rats. You're getting a Pineco. That Bart guy. You are not rat. You are Pinecone. Congratulations, my friend. Is it much of a congratulation worthy thing? No. <laughs> but you know what? I think that's pretty good. I don't know all that. That's my secret. There's one more thing. A gift for having helped so many people. I need to have this. Flash! Ah! Oh, oh that, so you get, that's where you get the HMs from. Right. So you kind of have to do it then, don't you? Help two more people. I'll give oh, you something good. That. And right. we're going to need Flash to get through Mount Moon. Oh, the question is, who's going to learn Flash? Has he, is he asking for us to do two more extra people, or is that two more that we've just done? I don't know. Uh, he just say, help two more people. I'll give you a reward. So yeah. I presume it means two more on top of what we've got. Shall we start heading towards Cerulean? Yeah. I guess we should. We should end the episode here. We should. Let's swap Bellsprout over with um, that fucking thing. We need suggestions for what to combine Bellsprout with. Yeah. We could do like Bellsprout, level up the Tyrogue. We need Bellsprout and Beedrill. I want to know what they should be um, Bellsprout, Beedrill. That. Oh, we can merge them together. We could merge them. Bellsprout, be Ooh, that could be interesting. Poison Grass. Bit boring. I mean, that's a, a very typical one. Very standard combo. We could do flying because um, B drill is part flying. Is it bug flying? So yeah, what evolved into? Flying. Oh, interesting. Oh yeah, that could be good. Yeah, that could that could work quite well. Um, let's just end it here then. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, thank you very much, everybody. Have a good day. Have a nice day. And, and don't, as I always say, make mine a double. He's kind of expecting you had some sort of quip about that. Wipe your palm after you do it. Oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs>